All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and just, let's just get right into it. NBA 2K20 patch 1.13 was released last night, and uh, we're going to get right into that, man. So before we get started, one for the money, two for the base, three for each and every one of my... <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Now, I don't know why 2K decided to do what they're going to do and um, why they felt like it's time to drop a patch. I got suspicions. I got these things. We got some. We got little updates and, and little fake patch notes and all that type of stuff everywhere, man. We just going to go through them right quick. Uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Uh, let's go. NBA 2K20 patch 1.13 is now rolling out on console, uh, for console players according to official NBA 2K20 1.13 patch notes. The latest update added some major bug fixes and gameplay changes. Apart from NBA 2K20 um, update 1.13 also included performance is, bro, I don't know what this is. It just said previously a minor update was released which removed the pushing in the neighborhood uh, a game hangs unfortunately since the last update many players were experiencing a number of issues when trying to play the game i don't recall pushing me in the neighborhood this year man I, I i had to read this more than once and it said today is nba 2k20 patch 1.13 um expected to fix a few issues is a fixed crashing issues fixed stuttering and lag issues that's never gonna happen but hey it's nice that they put a placebo effect in there. Uh, performance and stability improvements and other minor under the hood fixes. A lot of people are getting lagged out. Hopefully they took out the fact where well, you'll, you'll never be able to take out the fact that people are still in IPs and, uh, and being knocked out on Xbox and stuff like that. But hey, it is what it is. Um, let's, go to the, let's go to the next one, what they say. NBA 2K20 patch. This is the full patch notes right here, man. Um, this is what they're saying. This update comes at a time when NBA 2K20 is expected to be, um, NBA 2K is expected to announce soon. As it, as it is the case with much earlier titles, this one, this one doesn't add much uh, to the game. The general assumption is that this update is released ahead of the new yearly uh, NBA which, uh, launch game, which means it is, un bro, it don't even say it is useless for most users. Yeah, it probably is. Probably putting some new ads in the game or something like that. There are not, there are not details, patch, blah, blah, blah. It just says under the hood stuff, improved stability and uh, overall user experience. All right, cool. We gonna go here. This one says visual concepts release a patch May 20th, uh, which brings NBA 2K da, 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 to the con, which brings the NBA 2K going to the console i don't care about none of that stuff download clocking is just okay it's a 500 megabyte patch so that's not that bad the official notes aren't out yet blah 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 all right cool that's what they said this might have been three o'clock in the morning uh this one right here says is uh you know it's now ready for download and uh whatever 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 stability and stuff like that bro everybody's saying the same thing stability issues all that stuff um let me tell y'all what I think, man. Hold on, I hit the wrong button. I have hit the wrong button. Let me give y'all my little two cents and my opinion on what probably got fixed and what's gone. All right? It's probably say goodbye to the mascot glitch. All right? You can probably say goodbye to the mascot glitch and uh, what was that other glitch out there? Because they said there was some, um, one of them said that it closed the exploit, but but one of the ones said there was a glitch, right? Well, when you played somebody in my team where it would, you know, you could you could stall the game out and then, you you know, force the other person to have to quit. And uh, if somebody was trying to go 12 and no, they could, if, if they did it before you did it, then, it would stall you out and give you the, uh, it would stall you out, force you to quit. They wouldn't get the win, but you would get the loss. So from what I'm seeing, they've taken that out. And, uh, you know, uh, let me see some, uh, let's see. I saw something else. And I'm pretty sure it's uh, say goodbye to the mascot glitch. Because 
just be Frank. I'll be Frank. You can be Susan. Um, whatever. Whatever you want to be. But we know that anytime that there's a glitch in the game where people are not forced to spend a whole lot of money, then it's over with. Because a lot of people are looking at the mascot glitch in the wrong way. Like, you can mascot glitch, and if you got the, if you already got it, um, let's say you already have, you, let's say if you're not superstar, whatever, Elite 3 or whatever it is where you get the mascot, I don't know where you did, I'm not, I'm not up there, I don't got no mascot. Let's say you're not able to get the mascot yet, right? Yes, people are going to know. But you know how many people probably can get the mascot but don't want to spend the VC on the mascot? So it's it's just as easy for them to be like, hey, um, I'm going to do the mascot glitch and nobody would know because I'm already the level to be able to get the mascot glitch. Now I can get all the mascots. So now if your friend has a mascot, you can get a mascot um, or, you know, or vice versa. We both got mascots. I want the mascot that you have. You got, you want the mascot that I got. So, uh, yeah, let's let's just switch up and uh, let's do it like that. Now, that's that's what I'm thinking part of it is. It has to be that because it says you can glitch, you can glitch the mascots, you can glitch the clothing, uh, event rewards, all that stuff. So it's really just a cosmetic glitch. It doesn't imp impact the game at all, unless you feel like I have mascots impact the game. At the beginning of the year, uh, I did a video. We felt like mascots impacted the game. I feel like they do to some degree, especially Wiley Coyote or Willie Coyote from um, from uh, the, uh, the San Antonio Spurs. Cause my goodness, that joker right there, I say that joke all right there. He, um, boy, he just be tall for no reason out there. But anyway, like I said, though, just looking at this, um, I, I found another one, man, and it's just saying that the official notes aren't out yet, um, which discovered that the mighty, oh, let me see, uh, NBA 2K subreddit. So the subreddit, I trust them more than anything, has discovered that the My Team Ultimate uh, exploit has been fixed. Uh, you're no, if you're not familiar with it, with this exploit, it's when an opponent stalls and just waits and waits it out so that they, so that they don't take the air. So that's what it is. Also, for those unaware, the tattoo bug where, where it was, uh, where it was erased every time you, what the world? I, bro, I hate when people type out articles and they can't type properly. The tattoo bug where it was erased every time you add a new one has been fixed, it seems. Once we get the official patch notes from Visual Concepts, we'll um, we'll update the post. Uh, and let me see if you're if you've noticed gameplay related stuff, bro. It ain't no gameplay related stuff going on, man. I can I can probably assure you of that. But that's how it is, though, man. Like like there's a if this is true, and they took out the um if this is true, and this is to be believed that they got rid of that glitch that they're talking about kudos to them i feel like i feel like that's dope 2k actually cares about the community a little bit and uh when something happens you know they came to the rescue a little bit and they're gonna help the people out blah 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 yakety smacking hey i'm with it but my heart of heart says that it never should have been in the game anyway like i just always wonder Bro, who tests these games? And how long has that glitch been in the game? And like, I mean, that game, that glitch been in there for weeks. But like I said, with this whole thing going around, I understand that they might be short staffed. They might not have the number of people there that they want to have there. All this other stuff, man. So it really could be the case. Who knows? Who 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 even really cares? Um, I know it's something that was killing the game for the my team unlimited guys, but at the same time, you know, it just is what it is. I would say to the people for my team, but they, they didn't fix it in a timely fashion. I would say to the people that play my team unlimited, they ought to thank to I mean thank thank the people that found the exploit glitch. Trains up, Green Bay Money Team, you're too late, you're too late. Um, flash down. I would say y'all should damn near thank the people that found the tattoo glitch, the um the the mascot glitch and the other glitch man let me somebody let me know down in the comment section if that if those glitches are still in the game i bet that they're gone because anytime anything that messes with vc they fix it overnight my team unlimited you're losing vc you're not able to get your rewards because people cheating and just waiting it out 
not taking the L, blah, blah, blah. You can't get your win. You can't get your 12 and no. Something like that's happening. Nah, we don't care about that. Mascot glitch, gone. Um, What other glitches out there? VC glitch, gone. Badge glitch that save you a little time but don't really impact the game, gone. Like, all that stuff is going to be gone, man. Look at the movement on easy, man. Uh, all that stuff is going to be gone, man. Like, instantly. They don't play the radio with that. But the other stuff, people costing you your 12 in those season, nah, that ain't going to happen. We, we really don't care about that. You know, you better you better get it get it how you live. Like from what I had heard, man, it had become a uh, it had become something where people were like, you better do the glitch before the other person does the glitch. Because if you don't, you're gonna get glitched. Like, hey, it is what it is. But that mascot glitch save you a couple of bucks, gone. VC glitch, gone. Any anything that ever happens like that, those gonna always be gone. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Somebody let me know if the mascot glitch is gone, if you did it. Um you know how you felt about it and all that because like i said not i mean um, um not everybody that does the mascot glitch you'll be able to tell because let's say if i had a if brute got like five mascots if i hit the level to where i could have mascots today i could have five mascots i could get if, if that's how it works i don't know if that's how it works or if it's just like you gotta put it on and you can never take it off either way if i got this mascot trays up splash down if i had a mascot that i didn't like and and i just want another one without paying for it and you got the mascot boom let's get it but i think that you can't i mean i don't know how that glitch works man i didn't research that glitch i really didn't do nothing like that all i can tell you is right all i can tell you is that i'm sure it's gone now anything that you're having fun with anything that's just purely cosmetic and placebo but cost them some vc will be fixed instantly even though the demigod glitch stayed in the game for months. Behind the back stayed in the game for months. All this other happy bullshit stays in the game forever. But anything that cost them any type of money, like I said, the My Team Ultimate glitch was in the game for weeks. We had a patch in between the time it started and now, if it's really gone. Y'all let me know if that's really gone too. But cost them some money, mascot glitch, Something like that. It's gone. Instantly. It is what it is, man. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. I really don't. Because uh, if that if that's what's gone, then it's just like, that's sad, man, that that people been suffering in my team and all these other jo joints forever. Excuse me. They've been suffering in my team and all these other joints forever. But then, like, right now, a little, a little other glitch comes out. Boom. It's over with. Anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Let me know if the mascot glitch is gone. We know the, we know the behind the back ain't never coming back. People swear that's coming back. I'll probably throw that in the return of the behind the back. Ah, uh, whatever, man. Anyway, I'm about to get up out of here, man. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Y'all already know what time it is. Godspeed!